Minecraft. But there's a Cyclops. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, and we are going to be seeing what Minecraft would be like if there was Cyclopses in the world. I may make this into like a little cool mini series or something by doing this with other smaller mob mods. I don't know, let me let me know what you think guys. Well, this mob isn't a joke either. This is one strong dude. He'll crush you, eat you, or just send you flying through the air. But before you get to being crushed part, you first have to locate his lair. Out in the ocean, you will rarely find a small and unassuming little island. Oh, but don't let that fool you. Yeah, no. Deep within this island lurks the beast itself. As you arrive closer to the island, the boss bar for the Cyclops will appear on your screen, indicating your impending doom. If you are feeling brave enough, tie up your boat and make your way down into the cave for the terror that awaits you. Once you reach the bottom, you'll come face to face with the biggest, strongest, ugliest, and may I add, poorly dressed dude you'll ever see. I mean, check out that outfit, it's just shocking. The Cyclops is about three times the height of a player, and lugs around a tree trunk with spikes in it for a weapon, as you do. I, for one, definitely do not want to be hit in the head by that thing. This battle definitely is no walk in the park. You're going to have to bring everything you got. One wrong move and you're a goner. This leads us to his first killer move, the slam. It's a simple but deadly move. When he raises that massive club above his head, you have about a second to move out the way. Otherwise, you'll be propelled into the cave walls at some devastating speeds. I know what you're thinking. Okay, Kieran, I'll just keep my distance. Haha, <laughs> bad move. He's even more deadly from afar. He's just going to try to get up close and personal with you with his charge attack. Yet again, you have roughly a second to watch him lower his shoulders and begin his charge of death. You definitely don't want to be hit by this, unless you want to be splattered onto the walls of the cave. Surely at this point, you're saying... Kieran, that has to be it, surely there can't be more deadly, devastating moves. Well, sorry to break this to you, but there is. His most powerful ability is his laser eye beam attack. Yes, eye beam attack, you heard me correctly. This beam will set everything it touches on fire. You're going to want to keep moving as the beam will follow you around for a full four seconds. A full four seconds of terrifying fire-induced pain. With all these attacks combined, it makes for one heck of a challenging battle. And I mean, heck of challenging. It is extremely tough, I've got to say, especially with just diamond armor. It, yeah, you're in trouble. You're in trouble. Don't even think about trying to trap this dude, though. Because blocks just annoy him and make him angrier. And he's just going to smash on right through them. So there's pretty much no hope. Don't worry though, there is a reward for all this effort. The Cyclops Eye. It can be used to enhance a beacon. Just surround the eye with glass blocks to create a beacon eye. This block can be placed on top of a functioning beacon to power the beacon eye. It will grant the extra effect of giving all mobs in its radius a white outline and a constant glow effect. This makes it much harder for those pesky skeletons, creepers and zombies and spiders to sneak up on you. Well, there you go guys. I hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you want to see more done like this, let me know in the comment section down below. If you did enjoy it, obviously, subscribe if you haven't already. What the hell are you doing? Come on, you know you want to. Make sure to hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on anything. And then smash that like button, just like a Cyclops would. As always, guys, thanks for watching. Until next time, see ya.